Slightly annoyingly the LG stylus 2 we got hands on with had a cover that we couldn't remove, so we didn't get a perfect look at the design, but even with the case it was still pleasingly slender thanks to its 7.4mm plastic frame. It's still a commanding presence in the hand though, with the 5.7-inch display pushing the dimensions to 155 by 79.6 mm while the stylus 2 tips the scales at 145 grams, which isn't all that heavy. The flagship LG G5 and its successor the LG G6 may have ditched the rear buttons which featured on the LG G2, G3 and G4, but they're still going strong on the stylus 2 with the power lock key and volume buttons forming a column below the rear camera sensor. They do fall nicely under finger when held in the hand, but they're a little on the flat side making it tricky to know which key you're hitting without looking. The main attraction is found in the top right corner of the handset, where the stylus slides into the body of the phone. Pull it out and, well, it's a stylus. There's no fancy tech inside like Samsung's S Pen, it's all pretty standard. It's also rather thin and we worry about it getting bent or snapped, so you'll want to treat it with a little bit of care and attention. Thankfully you shouldn't lose it, as the stylus 2 will alert you, via a feature known as Pen Keeper, if you start moving off with the phone when its stylus port is empty. LG Stylus 2 Review LG claims its stylus is now more accurate due to the fact it stitched the rubber nib from previous iterations replacing it with a nano-coated tip. We didn't witness any obvious improvement, but it may become clearer with extended use. When you do slide the stylus out of the handset, the phone vibrates and launches pop menu and pop scanner, allowing you to sketch in note take right away. The stylus was smooth and provided a pleasing level of accuracy, but you do have to prod the screen with some force, as lighter taps didn't seem to register. Like with many stylus-toting smartphones its inclusion seems a little pointless. It doesn't add a great deal to the overall experience. The 5.7-inch display is bright and clear, although the 720p resolution means it's not the sharpest screen around at 258 pixels per inch.